Hi, I'm going to show you how to do file transfer to and from RackM using a graphical tool. RackM is an HPC cluster uh, maintained by Upmax and I take this page from the Upmax documentation and I'll be using FileZilla as a graphical tool to, who, to do this. Here's already a screenshot how that will look like. So to zoom out a bit, um, I am a user and I can be inside or outside the university network, which is called SUNET. Um, it's irrelevant if I'm inside or outside SUNET. It's drawn outside SUNET, but it's irrelevant. Um, RACAM, on the other hand, is inside SUNET, is inside the university network. And what we're going to do here is we're going to transfer files on my computer to RACAM. Uh, there are multiple ways to transfer files to RACAM. Here I'll be using my, for my local computer to RACAM using FileZilla. So FileZilla, this is the logo, it works under Mac, Linux and Windows. And I'm just going to follow these steps. I'm going to start FileZilla. Uh, let's do that, FileZilla. I need to click on File Site Manager, File Site Manager. And here I need to create a new site. I'm going to call this site simply RackAM. And I'm going to click SFTP. The host is RackAM rackham.upmax.uu.se and my username is Richel. That's all I need to type in um, and this will, if I can click OK, it will directly connect. It will ask me for a password and because this is Rackham, which is not a sensitive data cluster, I can just use my regular Upmax password without two-factor authentication. So just my Upmax password here, so I'll type it in now. I can also remember this password if it remem because the password will always be the same. And here I am. At the right hand side, you see me being logged in to RackAM. So there's some stuff I do on RackAM. And let's just transfer a file. So let's take a look if I can find uh, any files su suitable. For, for example, we have a file called test.r. I'm going to upload it to RackAM. So I just can click on right mouse click and upload. There are many ways to upload it. And now it is there on uh, RackAM. And I can do the other way around. So this is a file, uh, some kind of Python file. I can also click download. And now I have it on my local computer. So this concludes. Um, yeah, of course, this is, all, this is all there. The files end up in your home folder. Uh, there are other tools like WinSCP that you can use. But I discussed how to do file transfer to and from RackAM using FileZilla. I hope this was an instructive video and I wish you a very good day. Bye!